Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. My love bugs and love muffins is mama love and welcome back to my channel i'm still here all smiling and stuff because look y'all so i went and ordered this ring light off amazon and it's for my iphone to sit in the middle of it so it's this big ring light and it's got the stand the stand can go as tall as you know higher than what i got it but i got it to where, where i'm sitting or it could go all the way down to where i can sit it on a table and do my videos and stuff like that so i'm all excited so if it looks like my eyes is everywhere again like i'm looking over here and i'm looking over there but i'm looking over here in the lens i'm on my iphone so huh, i didn't get another camera i still my camera still works but i just don't feel like charging it up right now plus i'm excited about this ring light and this light look good here i was like make this video look good okay anyway then I got it where I can move it up and down inside the, you know, little tripod. So I'm upstairs in my room because I'm home tonight, y'all. Um, I said that I was going to make a video today on my live. When I was on my live earlier, I said I was going to do a video. My nose at you. And uh, I was going to do a video about, you know, the surprises, full of surprises that Queen does. She just does, has surprises for us out of nowhere. So I just said I was going to talk on this video and the kids is downstairs and because they got company tonight so everybody home tonight you know we ain't been home so i've been over my mama's house enjoying my mom they'll be here some nights or they'll go over to their friend you know chris they bestie they brother my other son they'll be over there while i'm at mama's so sometimes we take vacations away from home so now that we are home i just said you know what i ordered my ring light had came uh i think maybe like last week but we just now taking it out the box tonight and i wanted to try it so yeah there it is i'm upstairs door closed in my room privacy beautiful thing whatever and i wanted to share with y'all this surprise and i guess this surprise caught me off guard i'm very happy about the surprise because i, I want to call this video let me call it, let me call it Queen. I guess Queen has had enough, whatever. I'm gonna call it that one. Anyway, so I'm at my mom's yesterday or whatever. Queen calls out of nowhere. She FaceTimes me rather. And I answer the phone, Queen like, got a surprise for you. Just like that, she got this smile on her face like, got a surprise for you. I'm like, okay, what, Spilly, what's up? You know, well, Mom, I got you and Tina and Terrell. I got y'all a trainer. <laughs> I don't go on a trainer. She was like, yeah, Mom. And, you know, I, I couldn't find nobody here in Atlanta. So I just got thought I'd get on the phone. And I figured it out. Um, I called somebody in Detroit, you know, the area where y'all at or whatever. And um, I found somebody to train y'all. It's all on me. Um, meal preps and all. Um, the workouts. I want y'all to take full advantage of it and um, go for it. You know, just let me know what you think. Go check her out. Um, I'm going to leave her number with you, whatever you talk to her. And she was so tickled. She was like, and guess what, mom? Y'all got the same name. <laughs> so I'm sitting here smiling like, thank you. You know, thank you. Because prior to Queen calling me about it, she did not know that I had went to see my nutritionist last week and i did pretty good last week um on she was showing me the different the pyramids of foods and what to eat and what not to eat and you know different salad dressings you should put on your dressing that cause you you know not to gain weight because sometimes we think we could pig out on salads but whatever so i was already looking for a trainer i was already this is already in my mind y'all i'm telling y'all this is how we be like on one accord with stuff and i know that this is god i know that god is in this because I have tried, like I said, so many diets and everything. I'm going to give y'all an update, too, about my breasts. Um, I have tried so many diets in my lifetime. I have failed, but I never gave up. I'll go up, i go down. i go up, i go down. One time, I almost went all the way down. I almost did it, you know. Um, I went down to the point where not other people would be like, well, no, because you were still thick. Right. I went down because I'm not trying to be skinny. I don't want to be skinny, but I want to be fit. You know what I'm saying? 
I need to lose the gut and the back rows and the big thighs. And well, I don't want to lose all my thighs. I want to keep some big legs, but I don't want them out of shape. I want them to be shaped. Um, I do want my, um, my tummy down. So I'm getting a breast reduction. Um, like I said, she wanted me, they called me and wanted me to have it on the 4th of January, but the 4th of January was Tina's birthday. So I was like, no, I can't, I can't do it. Not on her birthday. So, um, I'm waiting on a call back. It should be sometime this month for them to schedule me with the surgery, but I do need to know heads up, uh, ahead of time because of the simple fact that I'm gonna have to be off of blood thinners that I'm on for a lifetime. I told y'all about that part. I'm gonna have to be off those prior five days prior to the surgery. So I am going through with my breast reduction. I know a lot of people be like, you should uh, try to lose the weight first and didn't do the breast reduction after. No, I already know I've done that. I've been there, I've done that. I have lost the weight, I have ganked the weight. I've lost the weight and the breasts were still there. They went down some, but not all the way because they're to the point where they're just too heavy and my back is hurting and I need to relieve some pressure. Also, I need to be able to go ahead and get the rest of this weight off in the gym with no problem of my breasts. It's always interference, always been an interference with me. So um, I'm getting rid of that. I'm not getting rid of it, but bringing them down some. Um, they are um, humongous. As people have met me in person, they can see. Um, and so they're probably going to be a D size or a double D. I remember being a double D years ago and I still thought in my head, dang, I got some big breasts. So I don't know. They might be a D. Anyway, so, um, that will take like only four weeks of healing, which I can get back into my training, which I did let my trainer know this, that, um, I was going to have the breast reduction. And, um, and that was going to be, um, you know, going on or whatever that I can get back in a gym within, you know, four weeks. But anyway, the, the exciting part is that, like the meal preps, uh, we have the meal preps, uh, the meals are going to be prepared for us, me, Tina and Terrell Monday through Friday. Um, I guess she's going to tell us what to do or what to cook or what to make on Saturday and Sunday, but we are going to be meal prepped from breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, that's going to be going on for us. And she wants our cutoff to be at 8 PM and we are to be, um, working out three days a week on certain days. I won't say those days, um, but we're going to be working out on certain days and it's going to be, um, like, um, morning that would be working out or whatever. And um, she was just going over the things that we couldn't have, um, how it's going to be like a bland diet. And she really want the processed foods really out the way to, for the weight to come off as soon as possible, not fast, but gradually. And, um, and with the workout and we gotta have like a gallon of water and a day and she was just telling us the do's and don'ts and she calls and she checks up on it. I've already got a call from her this morning and we just went to see her yesterday and it really made me feel good. Actually, she probably gonna get me because she called with instructions today for me, Tina and Terrell to be on the treadmill today because we actually start Monday, but she, she told us to be on a treadmill today for the days that we don't come in. Um, the rest of the days that we don't come in, we are to be on a treadmill 30 minutes. And um, I guess gradually to, you know, Tina Terrell could go on that treadmill longer than that, but gradually till we get up our pace or whatever. And um, we didn't get that on that treadmill today because basically um, we was running around about the car. Um, I was over my mom's last night. Then I had to go get Tina and Terrell over to their friend's house. We were just doing a bunch of running where it didn't... <clears throat> it didn't get for us to get to that treadmill tonight. So I know that she probably gonna be calling first thing in the morning. And so that we're gonna have to be on it first thing in the morning. But, um, yeah. Um, I mean, she just called out of nowhere with this, you know, and I'm like, wow, that was already in my heart, you know, cause my cousin is a fitness, um, trainer as well. And I don't know if she does meal preps or whatever, but being that Queen had already made the call and had talked to her, the, uh, the trainer that we have now, which her name is Reva, beautiful name. Um, her name is Reva. Uh, she already had talked to her and then she set it up with her and whatever. And she called me for my idea and what I thought about it and for me to meet her. So I don't want to undo nothing that she has done because, you know, I'm grateful. You know what I'm saying? So 
I'm not going to go prying and, well, I think I should did this one or go over here. No, I'm going to leave it as is. She picked the perfect uh, person, I think. Um, she looked her up on Instagram. And I think her page is She's Fitness. Um, I want to do her like that because my phone is right here. But I'm going to do it. I'll put it in the, the bottom, at the bottom, you all. But um, I don't really want to, like, go into it because of the privacy matters of... Uh, you know being exact location or what times were there and things like that but yeah so when she did this like i said i was excited and i'm like you know what queen <laughs> i started laughing and talking to my mom i said i guess she had enough like look y'all is going to work out <laughs> y'all gonna do something you know to get in shape because she's concerned and i'm pretty sure that she's mainly concerned about me um well basically all of us for her to get us all together and say, this is the best present. This is the best thing, you know what I'm saying, she could ever do. And um, and so she told me, you know, it's like, you know, when she did that, she really, she gave me hope because she was like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, look, mama, I'm going to get you some help. Like, try it this way. I know you didn't try diet. Queen didn't saw me try diet after diet after diet after diet, different diets. I refuse to have the surgery, you all. I don't want the surgery, the weight loss surgery, only because... Um, I saw a lot of people that got sick by that surgery. I know it's a lot of people that got well and recovered and did good by it. Um, if I don't have to go under the knife, um, I, I really don't want to, at least not for that. If I, if I could lose weight and I know that my breasts would go down, I would not have a breast reduction, you all. But I have lost weight before. And even when I was young, like I said, 13, 14, I've always had big breasts, which, um, took away a lot of my activities of jumping jacks and moving around and, you know, participating in gym classes with all the rest. Um, I was always that one on the team that made my whole team lose because I wouldn't run fast enough because the boys was laughing because my, my breast was bouncing every time I run. It was just a joke, you know, so I never could really be much active because of how my breasts were heavy. And also they're hurting my back. So I have to undergo this one. This one I'm going to do, you know, but she also told me, she was like, mom, you know, just go ahead and try it. You know what I'm saying? See how y'all like it or whatever. I think that y'all do great. If y'all just follow her, do what she's t telling you to do. And so basically, you know, it's going to go. It's, uh, you know, we're going to sign that contract and bam, there it is. You know what I'm saying? Because we, and Tina and Terrell, was, what I'm happy about is they're excited too. You know what I'm saying? They're excited to go on this journey because when I was thinking about it, I was kind of thinking about myself like, well, I could tell Tana and Terrell, look, when I came home from the nutritionist uh, appointment, I was like, look, she gave me a pyramid and you, you know, she was talking about the Mediterranean diet and blah, 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 blah. And we could do this and we could do that, you know? And um, so I was trying to get them interested in, in but I'm at the same time, I was like, well, if they don't follow, man, forget it. I'm going for myself because I got to keep, you know, doing it. But everybody's involved this round, you know, um, I'm going to the point where I'm clearing everything thing of food out of my house because if i'm gonna have to be if we're gonna be meal prepped and she's bringing in you know meals for the week and stuff they don't need to be nothing else here if we got breakfast lunch and dinner all through the week and we cutting it off at eight o'clock there's water and she said we could have tea that's about it or sparkling water but i think that would help us and then like i said ten and Terrell, they can work out with no problem you know me you know, because of my knee problem. She says she has exercises for me to do so they won't be that extensive. So I don't have to be that afraid. You know, it won't be no intense workout. I mean, for me to be like, oh my God, I can't do this, whatever. So I feel, I feel better. Um, cause she, you know, explained that to me and everything. And, um, yeah, I'm just happy. I'm happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy because this is a, you know, this, this is the best thing for us, you know, and I believe that it's going to work. Um, and I also feel like, you know, if Queen can go as far as, you know, saying, you know, taking upon her time and taking her time out, looking for us, something being that concerned about us, then we can go through with this and be concerned about ourselves. You know what I'm saying? God bless the child that got his own, but God bless the man that helped him. So he can't help. We, she, you can't help nobody if they don't want to help themselves. That's what I'm basically trying to say. So if she can go out of her way. And say, I'm going to do this for my family without us knowing and and conversate with this person and stick her neck out there and sign contracts and pay money. Because I know that's got to cost some money for all three of us and for the meal preps. 
Monday through Friday, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I know that's got to cost some money, you know. But my thing is, if she can do that, then we could go along with her and not make her look bad. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and like, stay with the program and, you know, make her proud is what I'm saying. Because she's the one who's out here is concerned like that. Not to say we're not concerned, but I'm saying she's concerned enough to go through that for us and put herself out there and her money out there like that, that we don't need to embarrass her. We need to go through with this. So we're looking for results this round because I feel like it's going to be different because of the workouts and because of the, um, the meal preps. So it's been made easy. Basically it's the plan made easy. Then she puts the bonus on it. Y'all and be like, and you know what, mama, if you get that weight down or whatever, and I know you toned up, but if you don't like your belly and it don't go all the way down, she said, I'll, I'll pay for your tummy tuck. So I'm like, bet. So you take it, you come on a deal of a lifetime. That's like door number three. You know what I'm saying? Bes besides, uh, 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 some material things or something like that. Door number three. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking it, y'all. So we take it and we ram with it. And I'm grateful. I just want to tell y'all that, y'all. I am so excited. Um, but um, I will leave her. Well, I said her name was Reva. Um, and like, I'll tell you more as we go along. And I'm thinking about, let me know if y'all want to go along this journey with us. Like I said, TNT's channel have they have not been on that channel, but I asked Tina and Terrell, I was like, look, if y'all don't get back on y'all channel, because they said they was going to do some vlogs too. They haven't did any vlogs where they can get out because they had their own car now and they can show y'all what they do when they out, not around me all the time. And you know, with their friends and things like that. So they said that they was going to do vlogs, but if they don't do that, I had suggested that maybe if y'all don't want to um, use TNT channel, don't let it sit there. Maybe we can make it a family channel. And so I know a lot of people on a, um, live, my comments on live was like, yes, that'd be a good idea. A live, you know, I mean, um, a family channel with all three of us and we could just take you along on this journey with us or whatever. And my channel could still be my channel as far as my weight loss goes, um, um, how I'm doing on the surgery and other goofy stuff I be doing or cooking channel, cooking videos or whatever that I be doing on this channel, whatever. But that could be a family channel if TNT is not going to use that channel. So I just thought I'd tell y'all the good news or whatever, how excited I am. I'm very grateful. I am of her for the things that she does for us. And um, like I said, the big surprise, I mean, out of nowhere, she just surprised me. None of even asked for this. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking up stuff on my own. I'm going to the nutrition nutritionist on my own. I'm going, you know, looking up, you know, like fitness and things that I can do to lose weight on my own, you know, but for her to just call out of nowhere, I know that that was the Lord answering my prayers. Like as far as, you know what, I see you trying, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you. You know what I'm saying? So I, like I said, and then for her name to be Reva is like mine. It's like, Oh Lord, it's like, it's, this is the one, you know what I'm saying? But I'm thankful. And like I said, I just wanted to share that with y'all. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And y'all see many more to come as we're going along on this journey together. And um, pray for us. You know, don't dog us. We trying. You know what I'm saying? But pray for us that, you know, we're going to reach our goal. And that we don't have no problems reaching it. We don't have no sprung sprained ankles, uh, torn ligaments, uh, pulled muscles, and heart attacks and strokes. <laughs> So just keep us in y'all prayers and yeah, very helpful. We will keep y'all in our prayers and God bless y'all. Peace out in Jesus name. Be blessed.